Well, hello everybody and welcome to another wonderful episode of Planet Centauri with your host, Mr. Joker. That is me. We are in version 0 0.6.7. Uh, how is everybody? Oh, it's so nice to get back over here and play this game. So we're going to, I'm doing this in a particular way here. We're starting at the beginning because I want to show you a couple things here. Um, so we've got, uh, this was a world that broke. They put out the fix, right? A while back now. We did this. This is where we're, we've been. And you'll see that I have this one called Milk. And that's because I always go to another world randomly. I'll generate a brand new world. And I'll go there and get a whole bunch of milk so that I can get all the all the, all the the foods. Now, I want to show you uh, something I've been working on here. Um, last we left off, we had uh, figured out how to upgrade all our armor. We tried to fight the main dude, um, and we failed miserably, but I have been working on something. Now, if we go into feed, and we look at, uh, I've got a lot more, I've got a lot of small potions for damage stuff, but that doesn't really help us much. You'll see that I've, I've got some regen stuff now. This is life regen, but I need health pots, and these, um... I've got a, a, you know, this is the highest one I've got. I got ten of those and thirteen of those. It's not going to help us much in the in this big battle that is coming up. Uh, I do have sixty-five of the life powders, which are great, absolutely great, very very helpful. And the mana powder, we'll just put that up here. I found that uh, a bowl of curry rice is one of the best foods you can get because it gives uh, life regen level two and stamina level two. So I've made fifty-four of those because that is a nice. Real simple, not difficult to make that uh, food that will help heal you quickly. And then the ham is also a level, uh, I, I've got a lot of them. So I've got that as a life regen as well. Um, but those are some of the simple things that you can make to try to help you out. Uh, dude, can you get out of the way, guys? Thanks. Um, yeah, so you'll see like... A bowl of curry rice is life regen level 2, stamina level 2. This is the same thing, but it takes a lot more to make it. So I was like, oh, forget that, man. I've got tons of curry. I'm just going to make that. Uh, some of this other stuff is a little bit more difficult, and I just kind of just scrolling through. You can see that I think the highest is level 2. There might be one thing that's level 3, uh, but it didn't seem really worth it. Um, this one, you can also make a macaroon if you wanted to. That that uses eggs and sugar and almonds, which are also pretty easy to get. Um, the coffee, if you get coffee grounds. The, that one is a little harder, though, to find because you have to find those in the, in the buckets. Um, I still need some milk and some butter to make a cupcake, which will give me an extra. I think I'm missing 25 more SP that I can get here. Uh, don't know about the fish yet. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else? I feel like there was a level two. The hamburger takes way too much work for just a level two. If they raise that up, I think it would be more worth it. Uh, this is a level three with the multi juice, but some of these items are a little hard to find because you can't make them. So it's not. It's only worth it for that initial thing. Uh, same with this. Uh, pepper is not easy to find. Uh, you got to get those out of the chest as well. There's just. Um, I mean, there's some there's some decent stuff, but to get the double regen, you want something simple like this one. This one is super easy. Oh my gosh, this is super easy. Um, slime jelly, you can make this totally fine. Uh, water, which you can make from melting the ice, and you can get slime parts from killing slime. And then the sugar, I believe you have to find it. I don't think there's any sugar cane anywhere particularly that you can get it. So um, I don't think it grows anywhere. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm hoping they add a beach soon that has like water and stuff like that so that we can maybe go do some fishing. But yeah, that's where you're going to get that. Um, and then there's the brain. But I don't remember. Where's the brain? Brain gives you uh, regen three, which is nice. But yeah. That's. Oh, that's those are the masks? Oh, well, dude, I'll just make a bunch of these. Whatever. <laughs> I got tons of them. I should have had tons of them. Unless I trashed them all. Might have done that too. Uh, <clears throat> so let's let's move forward, shall we? I I have built a couple things here that I really want to show you. Uh, how did I get out of here? Well, first off, let's go over here. This is going to be more of an educational uh, episode for those of you who already know how to build stuff. But 
I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. There's a really big thing. I've built a couple farms that are going to be really, really critical for you in being able to build some potions. Uh, but I want to kind of cover a couple other things. So I've got four block makers here. And uh, I had my, my girl and I, my lady, she, she helped me tremendously on this. So you'll see all these different block types. And they're fan-freaking-tastic. I love them. And I want more of them. There's so many. Uh, this, these ones you can't make yet. These are from the underground, the, the monk's fortress down beyond the uh, dragon hell ground. So you can't make those yet. But most of these you can make. And I've put stone in here. And each one of these is different from the other. And it was a real pain in the butt to go, between, to go through each and every one of these and make sure that every block is different from the other ones that are... Are being created so it is possible to get more blocks and have them all different now I've only got rock in here but you can put dirt and wood and I know that wood will generate a completely different block it actually generates pirate blocks which are actually pretty cool um, I think not the Aztec pillars I don't know if I have any that would be unfortunate I might have left them on a different place uh, but yeah you can make you can get some some pretty cool uh, wood things going on. The steampunk's all right, but I think the I think uh, this one's going to be really fun to build with if we can collect more of that. But we kind of have to kill everybody over there. <laughs> all right, let's move on to a couple of farms that I built. Uh, come on, go right down here. So I've had to block this off because they kept coming down and running around, and getting stuck in there. So over here, and I've added uh, wood ledges. Or whatever these are called platforms, I've put these periodically in a bunch of of uh, torches to stop anything from spawning. And see this room? Look at this. We've got oh, I just toss those guys out there to help kind of light it up, I guess. But if I jump up, I've got a platform up here, and I've got a bat. And what's great about this is that there's bats everywhere. Like, I, I'm collecting all the bat wings I need, and I can go from one side. I mean, there's going to be slime. Dude, these guys should not be here. Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. You're killing me, dude. You're going to get a lot of slime, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about that. I tried reaching out to the developer, and I haven't heard anything yet about any kind of blocks that prevent uh, spawns. But you'll see, uh, I am getting uh, a lot of bats now. Now that I'm down here. And the the way I did this was I created a very large room. Uh, a very large room, as you can see. Uh, that should have been filled in. He shouldn't have been able to spawn in there. So I am missing a couple spots. But you want to take care of any areas outside of this that could possibly allow things to spawn. Because of how the mechanics of the game work, you want to be able to... Uh, minimize where spawns are much like how if you've ever played Minecraft you want to get rid of any kind of spawn areas I mean look at this I'm just getting bat wings after bat wings and I'm collecting so much on the souls so on the spirits see like there's another one it's just it's it's absolutely wonderful I'm getting bat wings after bat wings and I, I'm I've already used all of the ones that I had before so just in this couple of minutes we have got, let's see real quick, uh, that is not what I want. I don't want that thing to spawn anymore. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. The other thing you can do, super cool, is you can throw that out. Uh, this is one of my monsters I caught, and he'll take care of everything and level like a monster. Um, so it's pretty cool. You can leave him down there, and he'll take care of whatever. That's really helpful. See that? He's trying to go for another bat thing, but uh, unfortunately, I can't get rid of uh, some, not all the spawn spaces. So there's more bats. Uh, come on, dude. Come here. Uh, let's throw, is this the guy? This is my level four right here. Throw, get out there. Get that. Okay. So we do have a couple bats that do uh, periodically get through. Whoops. <laughs> I just threw my... Uh, Monster down there. All right, let's look at my bat wings. Yeah. 
Should have, um, uh, there they are. So we've got nine in just that small amount of time, which is, I think, pretty amazing. All right, now I've got one other area here to, to show you. Just got to get out. Oops, come on. And it's daylight, so that's fantastic. So one of the other things that I did, uh, oh, that's right. That's the other thing they did. They, uh, I don't know why they did this. It doesn't make any sense, but right click now is attack and left click is any of the buttons that you have uh, highlighted. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of that and you can change it. I think you can invert it. They said you could. I, I actually, um, hmm. Action left, action right. Yeah, I don't want that. Let's do that. There we go. Uh, I've slowly been getting used to the other one, so. But yeah, I'm not sure why they would do that. I like this attack better because you're going to need to attack right away. So I built another farm outside of that bat one because one of the other things that you're going to need. Are feathers if you want to do any of the legendary stuff you need feathers and so to be able to get that these guys do drop it but it's very rare um, I forget what they're called but they're they're like harpy stuff okay so this is the edge um, there we go so I built this way up here and you'll see here in a second it can get pretty naughty Oh, man. Okay. Hold on. Let's kill these dudes. Jump up here. I've got this platform and this platform, but nothing really ever spawns up there. It's very rare. They don't need much to spawn on, by the way. See that? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Those things will spawn. So we've got one dude. When I was doing this, when I was building this thing, look at Worms just, like, fly out of nowhere. There we go. Look at that. See all those? See all that? All right, so this is when you really want your lightning. Because <laughs> I'm telling you right now, lightning, dude. It's the way of the future. And I got the left click. And nothing uh, nothing will grow in here either because it is... Um... Yeah, get out of here, dude. Gosh darn it. Do that, do that. Look at them all, look at them all, man. Isn't that awesome? That's what I'm talking about. You can get some uh, giblets out of there. You can get, yeah, you can get a lot of stuff. And and this is just like, oh my gosh, I can't tell you how fast I leveled in here. Let's, look at all of them. Look at them all. Oh my gosh, you'll get every type possible. Oh jeez. If you need to get out, heal up. Switch back. It's amazing, isn't it? This is one of the, seriously, one of the greatest things I think I've, I've made. I'm very excited about this. So, uh, and, and you, when you jump up, you kind of get far enough away from the ground that you don't even worry about anything really coming after you. So that's my birdcage. There's nothing really they can do about it. I can just... Do that, and yeah, we just sit here and boop, boop, like that. It's amazing. Yeah, he didn't like that. So let's grab this, and then we'll head over to another one that I did. Cause yeah, there's another. Um, it, actually, let's look to see how many feathers I got. I know I got, I already had some, but yeah, no, we got a lot. We got 18. We got, we had 18. I, I didn't have that many, actually. I take that back. I think I used them all already. So we have 18 feathers just from that small time in there. And it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Because nothing else will spawn anywhere else. Um, get out of here, guys. Uh, ooh, look at this guy. A legendary snow slime. Heck yeah. Come on. There we go. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so we got a lot of stuff on that one. And I just wanted to be able to gather the materials that I really needed uh, a lot faster 
Oh, gosh darn it, I have to grab everything. And I didn't want to have to hunt down like these guys or bats in a cave to try to be able to get my potions quickly. So that's why I built these things. Now there's still a couple more that I need to make. Uh, one is for tusks. Uh, another one is for creep blood. And another one still is for is going to be a lot harder. Is going to be for the um, for the the lava guys, the the rock dudes in the ground that like down in the lava area. Those one that's going to be pretty hard to do. I'm going to have to clear out a lot of area because there's not much space down there um, to be able to prevent spawns. Up here we have the whole sky area, but. I'm going to have to probably remove everything around the lava. Uh, I can't remove everything in the lava because you can't remove lava, unfortunately. Uh, so what I've done here is I've built this. Now, this one's going to be a lot different uh, than the other ones. Um, you'll see there's a couple already. Uh, this one, because I want scorpion tails, I had to create an area that would work for me. And this is where these things... Come on. Why won't it come out? Why won't he... Oh, because I'm out of... Uh, there we go. Do this. So this guy... This is what's best about this. Is this scorpion won't even pay attention to me. Everything else will, will like... So this guy's going to come after me. We can kill this dude. Oops. Let me kill that guy. But he's just going to run around and kill everything down there. See, this dude's going to come after me. He'll jump and he'll fall. And that's what's great is that I've got platforms for everything so that they can fall. Uh, three wide for a, a regular scorpion just to walk and fall. Um, and he's not going to attack my guy at all. And I've already got him to level four. So I'll be able to like jump way up here. And I've left this all open. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Gosh darn it. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So, a lot of slimes do spawn up here, but there's not much I can do about it. And if you really have... Uh, you'll notice that on these upper levels, you'll get one of the extreme large versions. Um, eat that. Uh, you'll get one of the ex very large versions of of the uh, the scorpions every so often but for some reason up here it's 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 a lot more uh, I'm gonna throw this guy out here so he grabs all that and then he's killing stuff yeah see I've got it I, I want to have multiple levels look at this I've already got a couple scorpion tails it's amazing it's really really helpful and I can jump up any point <laughs> he's just killing stuff I don't Every time I jump, it kills something. Come here, dude. Yeah, don't even worry about those guys so much. Um, I, I made it high enough so that it would spawn because I didn't know how bad the spawn rates would be. Now, last time I did this, I had a lot. But you just have to be uh, persistent and walking around. You can't just AFK, unfortunately. Uh, because there is there are dangers. And... Uh, just because you have a scorpion out there or a monster doesn't mean they're not going to lose health because they do not regenerate. Uh, the worms are random. They're not they're not very common. So you don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, but see, look, this guy's already, even if they aren't attacking him, he's still going to he's still going to die soon like that. I don't even know how that happened. Um, that's why I have three of them. And it, you don't have to use scorpions. I am. I wouldn't use any of the rock guys because uh, the rock guys, um, they can actually remove whole, like the walls. So you don't want to use those ones. I have one and he shoots. It's not good. And I have one of those hell dogs and those aren't good either because they can also, um, they're also not good. I'm going to pull that guy back in so he heals up. Uh, I've got a rare guy that I caught. Uh, but he's only level two and he doesn't keep everything. I was told that they would. I read on the wiki that catching uh, a ranked uh, monster will enhance it. Uh, you'll keep all the bonuses from it, but you don't. You don't. So don't believe the wiki on that one. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually pretty awesome. Um, 
Looks like I am still getting some worms, but <laughs> I can't get to it. Um, kind of. I don't want to remove too much of the floor. Um, I feel like I might be getting spawns underneath. Oh, this is the problem. Okay. Let me um. Yeah, do that. Yeah, this is the problem. See, you have to be, you have to be uh pretty consistent in getting rid of all the slimes because they'll take up the number of spawns you can have, and as long as you are able to get rid of all of those, you're totally fine. I just gotta keep looking for them. Is all. Pretty simple. It's not. There's not a lot to it. Very, very simple design. I've made these about maybe a hundred blocks across now. Uh, what I did was I figured out this is one edge right here. This is another edge. And then I added another fourth to that. So uh, where this edge was here, uh, right about there, this is the halfway mark. So I did uh, a screen and a half for me. I don't know what your size screens are, but that's about a hundred, a little bit more than that. Whoops. Uh, oh man, I'm getting a lot of these guys. That's not fun. Uh, and lightning only works where there is floor. So there, there, it kills all of them. Oh, there's a couple of feathers. I made the um, the walls here all the way up to the the ceiling because I didn't want. Uh, I was getting. I was getting some of the spawns happening on the tops of these blocks and coming in, and I didn't like that. So that's why um, I, I have the walls going all the way up. And it's not on all of them. I should do it over for the uh, gorilla habitat there, but I'm amazed that that worm is spawning up here. Absolutely amazed. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys is a couple things that I made. You can see um, just how well... This guy's doing. Uh, he's going to kill him. Come on, man. Let's run past him. Dude, get out of here, man. Ain't nobody like you. There. Yeah, see? So it's always nice to have something on the bottom here just to keep killing anything that spawns. Like that guy. And it's a little slower. The drop rates for these guys aren't great for scorpion tails. Uh, I'm kind of excited to make the uh, the next one, which we'll I'll show in the next episode. Um, oh my gosh! Come on, guys. Why you no lie? Oh, he leveled. Sweet. There's a scorpion tail too. Look at that. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it was a little informative. If you have any questions on how to build stuff, the only drag here is the flowers. Um, I have yet to see. This is what I'm talking about. Watch. Uh, they'll jump over, but they'll fall, and they'll keep falling, and that's why I did it that way. And then that guy will kill everything. Uh, that is a perfect example right there. So uh, if you have any questions about all this, um, the flowers and how long they take, is it varies. It's just random. There's no real uh, no way to really determine how long that takes as far as I know. It could take 20 minutes. could take a lot longer. Um that's the only drag here that I'm experiencing. Oh my gosh, look at all these guys. I think I need to add uh, different flooring over here too. Uh, let's see if we can't get that guy to kill him. Because there's like three of them, man. Yeah, kill them all, dude. Get him, get him. Get him. Oh, see, look, runes too. Sweet. Um, yeah. That's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and slap a high five on that thumbs up button. Let me know that you enjoyed it. And I'll, I'll try to get more. Like I said, when updates come out or, or I have an idea of, of something that's coming, like something I could do to help you guys forward your little careers in this game. Uh, I don't know if it's a career, your life on this game, I guess. Uh, let me know. If there's something that you really want to see me do or something you want to see again, uh, let me know. And I'll do that too. Uh, I'm always up for any ideas you guys have. Uh, things you want me to build. I haven't built anything yet because I, I, there's just so many blocks. I really kind of want to gather them all and know what I'm dealing with before I start designing something. And I've actually never designed anything in a 2D way. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. He's got a health bar. I didn't know that. I didn't know he had a health bar. 
Oh, wow. So I brought one of those uh, worm dudes over and he killed it. Awesome. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Stay groovy. I'm out. <laughs>